Hello and welcome to the next of the tutorials in the fundamentals of synthesizers. And as usual, uh, go to your Moodle page, look up the synthesizers and samplers tab, look at the introduction to synthesis PowerPoint and the page we're exploring today is this page, amplifiers. So we're all familiar with amplifiers, they're the things you plug your guitar or your bass or your keyboard into, or they're the things in your home stereo system which give you the volume. In a synthesizer, there are actually multiple amplifiers and we may or may not uh, have controls associated with those uh, particular amplifiers, depending on where they're at inside the synth. Um, two types of amplifiers that you find in, in uh, synth different types of synthesizers are VCAs, voltage controlled amplifiers, which relate to analog synths. They're controlling things using electricity or DCAs, digitally controlled amplifiers, and that is in any type of digital synth or in fact a software synth. Now there are several amps built into the circuitry of a synth. And as I said, they may or may not be visible and we'll have a look at some of the controls as we go forward from here. But firstly, there is an amp after every oscillator. And one thing about synthesizers is that the oscillators are permanently turned on and generating sound. They don't generate the sound when triggered by the note, they are always generating the sound. So in fact, when you trigger uh, a, a message to play a particular note in a synthesizer, what you're actually doing is turning up the amplifier for that note. It's a note is already there, it's just that that amplifier is actually turned down until told to turn up by the pressing of a keyboard note or a MIDI message. If you didn't have those amplifiers there, then the synth would permanently be making all notes possible and would sound terrible uh, at all times. Now the signal from these amplifiers might be routed through various other synth modules, like the volume envelope filter, which is the ADSR section we have previously explored, uh, an LFO controlled fil uh, function, we're yet to explore those, which will be next week, or VCFs, voltage controlled filters, and we have looked at that with the filters and resonance uh, tutorial. The signals are then summed or collected together at the output where another amplifier is used to control the final output volume of the sound. Uh, down at the output stage of uh, a synthesizer, you may well often find an effect section and you may well see a velocity controller and that uh, controls how the synth responds to different velocity messages. For instance, playing harder might create a brighter sound uh, than playing softly. Uh, also the ADSR or volume envelope filter that we've talked about will also be located in the output section of the synth. So we're gonna go over to Logic now. We're gonna have a look at this one, the EFM1 and FM stands for frequency modulated. Here is the output section of the synth and that's the ADSR section. And so here's the uh, main level amplifier that will control the output volume. Now I've created a file here and as we can see, there are different uh, velocities for each of these four notes. So let's have a look at the uh, velocity function here and see how that affects. At zero, there'll be no difference in the sound uh, no matter how hard I play it. So we can hear that just kicking in. It's a little bit different on this one than, than the previous ones. Okay, let's have a look at another uh, synthesizer. I'm just gonna go through them in order. And again, here we have our output section. So there's our output volume. There's also the velocity controller. Let's see how this one goes. <laughs> Okay, we can hear it's got quite a long release, so it's a little bit hard to hear the front of the note. There is an effect section here, which is connected to the outputs. Now let's have a look here. There is only the one oscillator on this uh, particular synth, so there's no volume control connected to that oscillator. Whatever signal is happening there is just being sent through the uh, VCF, the voltage controlled filter here next. Let's have a look. Monophonic synth, again, output section, volume. 
there is no ADSR on this particular synth. That's what this decay knob is doing here. Uh, velocity again. Now we'll only hear one note at a time on this particular synth because the M stands for monophonic, meaning the synth can only play one note at a time. And we can hear that that is uh, triggering a slightly different sound. There is also an effect there, an overdrive effect. Let's see if we can get a synth with a couple of oscillators. This one, basically these are all amplifier controllers. How much of this particular uh, waveform do I want in my mix? So we can hear that velocity volume seems to, in this case, bring in more of the uh, higher frequency notes. So these are all amplifiers connected to these various parameters here. And we might try and have a look at one more type of synth. Now, in this case, we have two oscillators operating, a sub and a uh, one up the top here. And this is like a mixer to say full volume on this oscillator, or full volume on this oscillator, or any blend of volumes between the two um, oscillators there. Again, if I go down to my amplifier section here, what's happening here is this bottom control is like my velocity controller. So let's have a listen. So you can hear as I bring up that velocity slider, which is the bottom controller, that is changing the type of sound that we're hearing, which of these um, different types of effects are entering. And then over at my ADSR section here, which is selected here, um, that's of course my other uh, ADSR volume envelope filter controls that we have uh, played with before. So again, the idea is to get into various synthesizers, have a look at the amplifier sections and understand that there are amplifiers at multiple stages of the synth. Uh, even if you can't see them, they are, they are there and have a play. Thanks for listening.